25, a machine launches a softball from ground level. Okay, so we're on the ground and it goes whee up in the air and it comes back down. It reaches a maximum height of 51.84 meters. So it's up here, 51.84 meters at 1.8 seconds. This is gonna be my seconds we're using very similar to, this is gonna be my height. Down here is gonna be my seconds, okay. Very similar to a previous problem as far as our setup. And it hits the ground at 3.6 seconds. Which equation represents the height above the ground h in meters of the softball t seconds after it has launched? Okay, so height is h. Again, our y, that's our h. And then seconds is going to be represented by t for time. So looking at these equations. And again, the easiest way I think to do this is to think about what I just discussed in number 24 about taking an equation and moving it left, right, up, or down based on how things change. It's going to be the easiest way out of this, I promise you. And not trying to figure out and do this math and be like, oh, what's the speed of velocity? Mm. Easy peasy this way, way easier. All right, so t squared. t squared is a parabola. If t squared was written, it would be like this. But it's not. It's down. So what happened first? It was made negative. It's a negative t squared. If you notice, all four of these are negative. All right, so right off the bat, I know it became a negative t squared. So, okay, got that. Then this negative t squared, where did its vertex move to? It went to the right 1.8 and it went up 51.84. I do not know how steep this parabola is. I don't know if it's like this, if it's like this. I don't know that. That steepness, as you would, is the number that's in front of the t, whether that's 1 or 16. That number is affecting, you know, how steep, for lack of a better word here for this type of problem, that parabola is. I don't know that fact right off, so I'm going to ignore that. I'm just going to focus on that vertex. It starts at 0, 0, and again, it moves to the right 1.8, and it moves up 51.84. Now, we said, what moves something left or right in a function? It's when you put a number in here with that t. So I'm going to put in with that t, it goes to the right 1.8, it goes toward the positive x, so you need to do the opposite, minus 1.8. And then what happened? It goes up 51.84. So where do, how do I adjust the function to make it move up 51.84? That's going to be a plain number outside, and it's direct. This is toward the positive y, so it is a positive 51.84. Now again, I don't know what I mean, the arc of this is. I don't know what the velocity of that of that softball was, so I don't know if there should be a number out here or not, but let's look at our answers and see if there's anything that's close to what we've written here. Negative t squared plus 3.6. Nope, not even close. Negative t squared plus 51.84. All right, we've got that plus 51.84, but we don't have that minus 1.8. That one's out. Now, both of these have negative 16. So I go, okay, so I'm going to assume now that that's because the first two I know were wrong, <laughs> that negative 16, that that is the number out front that it should be. And what do we have? We have minus 1.8 squared minus 3.6. No, that does not match. And ding, 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 there's our answer. Negative 16 times t minus 1.8 squared plus 51.84. D is my answer. If this was helpful or useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.